<coughs> Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. So I decided to do this in a couple of parts, this video. So part one, I will link below. So part one was me showing you how I made these tags. They're three layers of book paper and just some stenciling with some old ink pads. So these are all dry. It's the next day now. So I was debating whether to go and sew around them first or, as you can tell, I made a few. So I won't show you every one on every process apart from the embellishing at the end because um, otherwise that would be rather boring and I'll run out of things to say. So hopefully the lighting is good. Um, I have a second spotlight so I've got one coming in from each direction so that should be good. So the idea of <coughs> this next step is I want to add some patterned paper. I'm going to just lightly glue it down because I'm going to do some decorative stitching on it. Um, but if I don't lightly glue it down, then I will forget which bits for which. And I want to do all these and take them to my sewing machine. I worked out that using double-sided tape to stick something down and sewing over it um, may seem simple to some. Um, sticks up and goos up your needle and doesn't work. Hoping the glue stick doesn't do that. I'm just going to tack them down slowly. So I've got beside me a box of scrappy paper. Offcuts of different things. Um... <clears throat> of um, bits of paper, little bits, big bits, pattern paper, wrapping paper, um, this is pattern paper. So I'm just going to go dive into my box and see what bits of pattern paper I can add to these. What I'm going to do is add these die cuts over the top, so I'm trying to stay in the sort of, can bring a bit of bright colours into it, sort of. Maybe I'll go get other die cuts if I do that. And I've also picked out this pile. I sat here last night and cut all these little fussy bits out of some 6x6 paper. They were just some cutouts and some borders and these are just the branding strips. Um, and I've got a few other colours here that I thought would go as well. So I might pull from some of this pattern paper. Let's see how we go. Now I tend to procrastinate and I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to find the stink. The stink. The stick and plonk method. So let's work on a couple at once. Let's 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 see if we can't do this easy. Let's pick all the similar colours and put them in piles. See, I'm procrastinating. I haven't even started yet. Um, and then that might make it easier to um, let's see what we can go with purple. Easier to do several at once. Okay. Now, let's grab, I'm trying to grab this pattern paper I stuck under all my die cuts without making an avalanche. So these are just from random paper bags. Some of them are quite old that I've had for ages. Um, trying to use up a lot of older stuff this year. So I particularly pulled out this one. Some of these, I'm just making sure I get the words up the right way. Some of these are for a flowish spring themed swap. So I want to bring sort of some flowers in. Um, I'm not going to lose too much of that. Maybe I'll cut that down. Um, so I'm procrastinating already. Really, Melinda. Stick and plonk. Um, you're going to see me in real time crafting and getting really frustrated. Um, but that's okay. So because these are going in different albums, there's no reason why I can't sort of repeat my design, isn't there? So let's grab just a normal glue stick. And these are going to be held down by some funky stitching. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to tack them down completely. So I might, I might go through and put one piece on... Come on, stick down. Be nice. So I'm not used to chatting and working, so we'll see how this goes. And I've lost the glue stick already. I apologise for any traffic or anything. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. We may have people shouting outside as well. You just don't know. So what I'm trying to do with this particular one, you've got what sort of words here, I'm trying to put stuff here um, that doesn't cover up, like I want the words still to be there but I want to cover up some of the 
the bits that are blank, if that makes sense. And I love to tear stuff because I can't cut straight. And I think tearing just adds to it as well. So let's put a strip down here. When I did these the other night, the original ones, I sort of did them one by one. I didn't do like a batch. And I found that a batch, I can use that little piece on something else. Doing them by a batch, and let's find somewhere to put these when I've done them. Let's make a file over here. Um, we'll see how batch doing them is a bit quicker or faster. So I'm happy with those at the moment. Can I stick this on something? That's got a bit of that blue in it. I sort of picked the picture, the papers, because I had a bit of the blue and a bit of <coughs> the green. So I could have used either side of this. So I sort of tried to pick, and I may come unstuck with sticking these down without thinking of what else I'm going to do to them, but let's just let's go with it and see how we go now okay okay um, don't mind me I'm just procrastinating hopefully craft along with me let me know if you like this style of video or you prefer the just the voiceover ones I do, the like the sped up ones. I see quite a few and sorry I've got to bring the words quite close to my nose to make sure they're not upside down. Sticking stuff like this pattern paper on is not a big issue but yeah so let me know down below if <coughs> you like this style of video or you prefer the sped up versions. I know not a lot of people I put this strip on something, it's branding strip, bear with me, I'll just cut it out. Um I know a lot of people don't have time to sit there and watch like a 45 minute video, but I tend to save those videos from my subbies to when I'm well obviously I don't have anyone on at the moment in the background because it's quiet in, in the house. Quiet as a mouse. Um what was I gonna say? I save a lot of those sort of videos from my subbies of when I'm doing stuff um, or when I'm crafting. I can um, I have this fantastic TV that I can put YouTube on. So often when I'm crafting or... I don't know why I grabbed that one. There's no pink in anything. Let's put that one away. Um, so I often put... So trying to think and talk at the same time is not ideal um yeah i sort of put them the longer ones on the tv while i'm crafting myself and it it feels like they're, they're in the room talking to you i know that sounds funny and i know that sounds probably i don't know creepy let me know if it sounds creepy um but i like i don't like silence i like background noise i'll often have the tv on or a movie playing when i'm um crafting um I tape a lot of shows on the TV, a lot of the series shows, and I'll go and sit there and watch. Sometimes I'll sit down to craft if I'm not doing a voice like this and just have the TV in the background. I'm sort of listening and I'm sort of watching, but I'm sort of not, if that makes sense. Let's see if we can't. Um cut some of this one and I'm not well worried if my lines aren't particularly straight this one's obviously got a bit of a stamp on it I was um, using this to cut out paper dolls at one stage let's stick oh I like that down there let's stick this down here um, yeah so I like to put my youtubers on that have these real talk videos um, on the TV because I have a fairly large TV because I'm as blind as a bat from a distance and that's handy. I don't know what I'm going to do when my TV breaks down. It is quite old. Um, if it breaks down, I don't know whether I can buy another one just as big. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. At the moment it still works. Maybe if it breaks, I'll be only able to watch YouTube on it. 
Okay, so just chucking these bits back. The little bits I'm putting up here is my, you probably can't see it, like these little bits and the branding strip I took off, I'm putting in my embellishment pile because these would be cute to stick under an embellishment. Big things like this I'm throwing back in my scrap box. Um, I'm trying to use up a lot of my stuff this year. Done a bit of that. I wonder if so it got purple in it. I wonder what that would look like on the purple. Yeah, trying to use a lot of older stuff up this year and. Oh, that looks cool on there. That obviously come out of something. Let's see if we can take advantage of that shape that's already there. Um, yeah, trying to use up a lot of older stuff. Um, I was going to go on a spending freeze this year and go, right, no spending till I, like, no spending at all. And I thought, well, that's going to be really unrealistic. It's probably going to last a month knowing me. So I decided to come up with, and I don't know whether it's new or not or something I've come up with, but I'm trying to use more than I buy. So that means I can buy little bits and you would have noticed that a lot of my hauls have cut down. So I'm not doing as many hauls. But in saying that, I have to go to Melbourne on Wednesday and all my long-time subbies would know what a Melbourne trip involves. Going down on the train, I've got to go down for a doctor's appointment for Alexis. And we usually hit one or two, depending on how we're both feeling and how long the doctor's appointment goes. One or two or maybe three Dizos. We will have to wait and see. And we may even go, I don't know whether we'll make it back in time for Kayser Craft, um, which is at the top of the train station. Let's put these flowers on something. Um, so yes, in saying that I'm not doing many more haul videos, I then announce a trip to Melbourne. We've actually got two trips to Melbourne next month in May. I'm always in blooming Melbourne. That's not really the right colour, is it? Because that's brown and these are grey. So I have to find some grey papers. Can I put this on anything? That's grey as well. No, okay, so now I've exhausted. This will go on here. Oh yeah, that looks cool on there. Okay, I love this stencil, this is really cool. So we just want to strip to go across the bottom. Yes, yeah, so we've got two trips to Melbourne next month. It seems like I've been to Melbourne every month, and I've already had two trips down, three trips down for Doctors for Alexis this year already so by the time we get to may it means on average we've been down once every i think the only month we didn't go down was january we went twice in february we went once in march at three for <laughs> it's going to be six oh my god six trips to melbourne in five months for anyone that's um yeah, I even say a little bits of purple like this. Um, a new time subby. We live about two hours north of Melbourne. Melbourne's our capital city in our state if you're not in Australia. And we often have to go to Melbourne for doctor's appointments because in our town, we have about 120,000 people in our town, but we don't have a lot of specialists, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> we have a big problem in Australia of attracting specialists to... Um, country, not country, well we're not really a country town, I suppose we sort of are, oh I like, I don't know whether I like that, um, but we're not a country town, we've got a population of 120,000 but we don't tend to attract a lot of specialists, so a lot of the specialists unfortunately are in, that's more of a, let's go with this, maybe I can bring this into this. Um, yeah, we don't attract a lot of specialists to our town, so we have to travel, which it's, in saying that, it's only two hours north. Uh, we're only two hours north from Melbourne. Um, do I like that on there? Don't know. Yeah, I don't like that on there. Um, but in saying that, it takes Alexis and I three and a half hours by public transport. Um, we have a bus to get into town, so we live, we live, um sort of on the out of, turn that upside down, sort of on the outer suburbs, how to explain it, yeah, outer suburbs, so you have like the middle of your town and then we live about a 20 minute bus ride from the 
um, CBD and we have to catch the train from the CBD. So it's a 20 minute train ride into the CBD, a two hour train ride into the Melbourne CBD, which is Central Business District if you don't know my shorthand. And then once we're in Melbourne, we need to get on another train to go from, we come in at Southern Cross for anyone that's in Melbourne, um, which is our sort of our big regional train station. A lot of um, the regional trains stop in there. Then we have another train station in Melbourne, which is called Flinders Street Station, which is a lot of the, what they call the metro. So a lot of the Melbourne type trains leave from there. So we need to get off our um, country train that comes from Bendigo and get on to... Sorry if there's rustling, I'm trying to find some papers to work with. Um, yeah, so we get off the one at Southern Cross, then we have to get another train, which only takes about three or four minutes, to Belinda Street Station, which is the big, what, sort of metro um, Melbourne-based trains, and there's a tram connection, about a 20-minute tram connection, to where our appointment is. So if you add all that up, then it's about three and a half hours. By the time we leave home, by the time we get to the appointment, which is a pain in the proverbial bottom. But what do you do? Ooh. Oh, just threw something on the floor, which is always handy. Those covers don't go. What about these covers? Okay, why does nothing go at the moment? Like nothing, this is the problem I have. Okay, let's dig deeper in my box without throwing stuff on the floor. Actually, if we move the box up, we can probably take the top layer off. So this is a box of catch-all stuff, um, scrapbook paper, off-cuts. Um, it's not my only scrap box. There's a little bit that might work on something. Yeah, I keep little bits like this. I'm dreadful. Um, these are probably too bright. These are handmade cards. Oh, not pre not handmade, pre-made cards that are in there, but I think they're going to be a bit bright. Nothing's the right colour, usually, I find. Might be able to get away with that. Maybe. Got some cameras. Um... Yeah, so it's quite a trip to go down to Melbourne, which we don't mind because we get to go shopping as well, but oh, it takes a long day, and then tomorrow I think we're going to leave, I think we leave house at 9 o'clock, and we probably won't get home until possibly 9 o'clock, it makes it a 12-hour day. Oh, maps. Could I use like a map on something? So yes, that is our Wednesday before... This video won't go up for a while, but that is our Wednesday before um, Easter. We get to go to Melbourne. Not my ideal time to go to Melbourne, because it will be busy. And it will be busy on the trains and the trams. And it's school holidays, and I usually try to avoid going to Melbourne in the school holidays. But unfortunately, doctors make appointments and don't really take that into consideration. <coughs> well, it's funny trying to make this appointment going through my diary and we've got several appointments coming up in the next few months for different things and we got right out to June no July I think I was looking at because they only oh, the silly thing about the, the Royal Children's Hospital is if you're going to see more than one specialist um, they don't tend to work on the same days so the specialist we're going down only really works on a Wednesday I don't know that would look really cool on there. I don't know how sick people go because, oh, we only work this clinic on this day. So my idea is to go down and see several specialists in the one day and get them all, oh, purple, put that up there. Um, get them all done in the same day. But, oh, no, this person doesn't work that day. That clinic doesn't run that day. It's so frustrating to have to go down so far and that I might put on there so I'm just trying to pull some papers out while I'm talking that looking for some more purplish papers and I should have plenty of purplish papers because I like paper, purple um yeah so that's my big whinge about doctors and you explain to them you're from the country you explain to them that it's a three hour and a half an hour train trip down but they don't seem to care like a lot of them here in my box. I'm 
that would work. Oh, that would work on there. Um, a lot of them don't really care. But that's my whinge for the day. Silly doctors. In saying that, Alexis is fine. It's just long-term stuff we have to deal with at the moment. Um, actually, that might go well on that bit. Sorry, I'm just trying to dig and find some stuff, and then I can stop the rustling. I even have test papers. These are when I tested... Um, what did I test? Oh, these were the Audi tests. So I chucked these in here, and I'll use those eventually. This was the trippy thing, the fluid medium and the, I don't know what I tested, the gesso and the something or other. So I can throw those in there as well. That must have been the texture paste, so they'll be fun to cut up as well. Okay, now we're looking for a couple bits of more purple. And then, oh, why don't we chuck some of that in? Because if I can't find a colour, let's just go with no colour. Because that will work. Okay, what have we got over here? Oh, well, that's got a bit of purple on it. That will work. As you can tell, some of these are trashed. I have bits of sewn. Alexis, when we got our sewing machine, just sewed white stitching on black paper. I don't know what that is. Oh, tissue paper. That might work. Got some typewriters. That could work for embellishing. Let's put those up with the embellishments. Okay, and this blue might work. Okay, let's go with what we've got because I could be digging in that all day and still get nowhere. Okay, what are we doing? Let's stick this one on. So that's my whinge about doctors. I think we have... Oh, and the cost, really. I read an article the other day. We're having a diversion of doctors, aren't we? read an article the other day that um, the government... Or people are trying to ask the government to raise the Medicare levy. If you're not in Australia... <coughs> if you go to a doctor, um, like a GP, for example... You can either be what we call bulk bills, so that doesn't cost you anything, or you can pay what we call the gap fee. So Medicare might pay, say, $30 for you to go to the doctor, so the government pays that, and then the doctor might charge you $50, so you pay a $20 gap fee. And I read an article the other day saying that... Um, how many are a whinge today, aren't I? Sorry. Um, that they wanted to increase the doctor's Medicare rates. What they need to do is put a cap on what the doctors can charge over on top of the Medicare rebate they get. I took Alexis to a doctor the other day and it was a $140 gap fee. Yes, you heard me right. It was like a $220 consultation fee to see her. And it was, you got like $75 back. I worked out to be about 140 where are my scissors? <coughs> about $140 gap fee. Now, that is ridiculous. We didn't have an option. We couldn't wait um, for what we call the public list to come up. Um, anyone that's not in Australia, if you want to see a specialist, you can either go through what we call a public list, so you get a referral and you get on a wedding list. And it can take years sometimes. You're prioritised of how sick you are. Um, sometimes if it's not an urgent thing, you you wait years to get an appointment. Sorry, just watching what way my words go. Um, or you can go what we call a private doctor, and that was who we saw. And we paid the $140 gap fee. Now, I think the government should look at capping the amount the doctors can charge above the Medicare gap fee. I think charging $140 is ridiculous. That is not the most expensive one I've paid either. Maybe we should get off the mention of doctors because I'm having quite a whinge today. I don't know what else to talk about when I craft like this. Um, this one, do I want another bit of paper on it? All these tape measures are fun. But do I want to bring the... Oh, I could bring the blue but I don't want the purple. This piece of paper was obviously used to make some origami because it's got lines all through it. <coughs> yes I've had my whinge about doctors now. I just we have a great system in Australia but if it's not urgent in the public system you unfortunately have to wait 
and wait and wait. And I can understand that doctors are busy and they take the most urgent cases first, but when it's your child that's sick, you feel like you should be first. Especially in our town, we often, CC specialists, unfortunately we have to travel to Melbourne because our waiting lists in our town are ridiculous. Alexis had to see a specialist the about 18 months ago and we were told it would be an 18 plus month wait in Bendigo, which was absolutely ridiculous. And we ended up going to Melbourne and we were seen within three months. But you just had to travel the three and a half hours to get there. Which is a bit of a pain, but sometimes worth it. But yeah, our, we've got a brand new hospital in Bendigo, but eh, we don't have the specialist to back it up, unfortunately. And they don't tend to do a lot at the hospital. Anyway. Okay, this one. Green. I might put some of this down. Now I'm going to get off my hospital rant. I don't know how I got on there. Oh yeah, I was talking about shopping and then I got on hospitals. But we're off that rant now and we're going to talk about something crafty. So Nelly done these. So what I'm going to do is I can't really film when I sew um, because it's so annoying. <laughs> oh, that I'm funny some days. Um, because I don't know and it's loud. I don't know, and I should have stuck that bit under there. Um, what I what don't I know? I don't know what I don't know. Um, yeah, okay, sewing machine. See, I get easily sidetracked. For those that don't make videos, this is so hard to craft and talk. Usually, I don't craft and talk. I was going to cut a bit off, and it's not oh, overlapping by the tiniest little margin. Um, yeah, so I would have to fast forward the, um, just checking what way the text goes. I would have to fast forward the sewing machine and do a voiceover. And I don't know how much you're going to see anyway. And probably you don't need to see me sew on these. What I'm just going to do is do some, just some fancy stitches. I'll show you when I'm all done. Um, I love my sewing machine. I don't sew a lot of fabric. I am starting to sew a bit more fabric. Um, okay, I'm done with, no, they're purples. I'm done with greens. I have bought some fabric to sewing. Alexis likes to alter clothing, so we are trying to get into that a bit more. Um, I can't really follow a pattern. Okay, confession time. Instructions and I do not agree. I do not like reading them. I do not like following them. If you give me a set of instructions, I will probably not follow it and I'll just do it. In saying that, I had to fix my machine for work, my laser machine for work. And I had to get out the instruction book. And I read it and I go, ugh, has to be an easy way to learn how to do this. So I went on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's great for everything. And watched someone else perform this particular thing that I had to do on it. And then I worked out how to do it but I'm not an instruction person. So for me to make a dress or a skirt off a pattern, I'm not real good at it. Lexis and I have bought some material to do that, um, but I just haven't got around to it yet. I have been collecting, I love Halloween, and I've been collecting quilting fabric after Halloween, and I must, I might show you the haul of what I got the other day. Um, Lincraft had a lot of their fabrics. No, it was Spotlight we're in. Sorry, rephrase that. Had to go to Melbourne. Went down with a friend in the car and we stopped at Spotlight DFL on the way home and I got some $5 fabric. So I've been collecting after... Um, after... After what? After um, Halloween, I've been collecting some quilting fabrics. Quilting fabrics, if you're not a quilter, are expensive. Some of them are $20, $25 a metre. Um... So when they come down to be like $8 a metre or $5 a metre a couple of months after Halloween, I've been collecting for a couple of years and I want to make myself a quilt for my bed. So this is me. I've never made a quilt before. I've never done any quilting. But I want to make a bedspread for my bed. I'm the kind of person that doesn't start small. 
I'm the kind of person that goes in and wants to make a big massive quilt to start with the first project. Maybe I'll make a pillowcase. Sorry about altering the camera, I'm just popping up to see how many minutes I've got left. I haven't waffled enough, I've got 17 minutes left. Um, so yeah, I'm, that's the kind of person I am. I don't go and do things <laughs> halfway. I will jump in claws and all, feet and all, to... That's just me. I've always been like that. It's always been everything or nothing. So I should be able to finish these in 17 minutes if I stop my voice from waffling and start creating. Okay, now I probably want... I love how these ones turned out. These are really cool. Um, yes, so I want to make a quilt for my bed. Um, never done any quilting before. Hopefully it's just a um, idea of chopping up fabric and putting it back together. I might rip these sides so they look a bit better. Um, in a pattern, Alexis wants to help me do it somehow. I just don't know what I'm doing. I think I've got enough material now for the front i've probably got too much um because i usually buy a meter if it's down to five dollars i will buy a meter of the fabric and i'll use it eventually in something i think i'm a collector not a crafter anymore i tend to just collect and i'm a sucker for a bargain <gasps> who's a sucker for a bargain i'm just if something's on clearance i just i can't leave it there i'm dreadful um so Lovely. Do you see that car? That's out my bedroom window. Or out my land room window. Which is right next to my bedroom window. We live near um, the traffic lights and we often get trucks that slow down to come up to the traffic lights and you, they put their air brakes on so that's loud. We often get cars like that that are really silly and leave half their tyre on the ground. Which I wish police would be around when they tend to do that. That would be so nice. Yes, yeah, so I'm wanting to make this quilt. I haven't done a whole video of what I got at. Now I'm procrastinating, now I'm wanting to lift this up because um, I want to tuck this underneath um, of the fabrics I got. I also got a couple of like, um, I'll just have to do a whole video. I don't know at what stage this will go up and the whole video will go up. Um, I also got sort of some Asian-y type ones that may work well with my Peacock album. It hasn't got peacocks on it, but it's with it was five dollars a meter and it was shiny and it was um, pretty paper. Okay, so I finished that one. Hopefully I'm in frame still. Okay, we've got we're down to only a few. Hang on, here we go. Here we go, here we go, let's stick this across here. Maybe I should start with a pillowcase or something small. Um, can't be too hard. I watch a YouTuber on, I watch a YouTuber on YouTube. Oh, aren't I intelligent today? I watch a YouTuber called, um, I'm trying to think of his channel, he's a mail crafter. I actually watch a few mail crafters. Um, called Stephen Bland, I think he's called. Um, and Bland is B-L-A-N-D. And he's just picked up quilting in the last few months. And he makes amazing stuff. Um, he's a retired school teacher in Canada. And I got onto his channel because he did some mixed media work that I liked. And then he um, does some quilting as well, which is really, really cool. That one's done. turn one of these sideways and put that on the bottom sort of do something like I probably don't have to use the torn edge for that oh but I want to see some of the silver oh I don't know those birds are going to look funny if they're half chopped off maybe if I do that and then chop off the bottom why it looks so bad I don't know what I'm doing now. Let's just chop the bird in half, decapitate the bird. Um, yeah, so he started quilting and he's shown a few technical quilts he's done, like different designs and stuff, and they look fairly, fairly easy. It's only like sewing two bits of fabric together like 100 million times, isn't it? I don't know. Any of my subbies quilt as well? Am I just biting off more than I can chew? But that's me. 
I bite off a lot more than I can chew and do and that's just my personality. I've been like that ever since I was a little girl. I will not do things by halves as they say, I will jump in feet first. Usually make a whole bunch of mistakes. I think that's why I like um, canvases and big things and like art journal pages as opposed to well, I'm making little things now. But as opposed to little things, and I don't think that glue is working well on that silver. Uh, ink. Um, yeah, I like big things. These are a bit of a struggle for me, but I'm trying to work on them. So I think if I flashy these up with a bit of sewing and then put a bit more, a bit of washi tape, and then put a bit of washi tape and then like an embellishment on the top they will sort of be done maybe I'll do some hand doodling on these ones I'll have a video up showing you all the other ones I did and then I'll put a video up of showing you now I've got silver in my glue stick God. I will put a video up showing what am I going to show oh the end result of these so if you don't want to sit through me waffling and whinging about my life and doctors and different things. Um, I will put up a flip through of these completed. I don't know, is anyone still here watching me? <laughs> I probably wouldn't be here watching me. No, some of my loyal subbies will. Okay, we have got three to go and we've probably got not many minutes. So I do apologise if this cuts out suddenly. I can't see. I have to stand up to see the time. Oh, no, 10 minutes. Oh, wow, time's going slow as opposed to going fast. Um, okay, let's get going. Let's do this. Okay. I was going to say if this video cuts out rather suddenly, um, I know the last one did. Doesn't My camera doesn't give me much warning before it shuts off. It can only film, which is so frustrating. Must buy another card for my video camera. I film with a video camera that is, okay, 10 and a half years old. But it works. Um, why, why buy something, why fix something that works? That, um, yeah, why fix something that ain't broke? Um, the, only, <laughs> the only problem with it is I only can film 45 minutes. And I should go to like a Harvey Norman or a place and get another SD card for it so I can film longer. But I find after sitting for 45 minutes, my butt needs a break. <laughs> my voice sometimes needs a break. Um, or I need a break in, let's see if we can turn this one this way. Um, so I find 45 minutes is a good time frame for myself, whether I'm doing a sped up video, like obviously I have to sit there for 45 minutes and film it in real time and then speed it up in the editing process, or whether I sit here and waffle for 45 minutes. I find that's a good, good breaking point. Otherwise, I could sit here for hours, and that wouldn't be good for my back and my body. And As I'm getting older, I'm getting more aches and pains, and why did I glue the entire thing when I didn't need to glue the entire thing? Okay, I cannot talk and glue stuff. Let me cut that off and stick it on the next one. Um, stick that up there. For no good reason that it just had glue on it. I'll add something to that in a minute. So, yeah, I find 45 minutes is... Um, a good amount of time to film and then get up and move or get up and have a drink or whatever. So down to the last one. Can we use some more of this? Yeah, I can do that. Let's do that. And I've used this whole piece of paper. Isn't that exciting? None of it's going back in my box. Yay! I'm trying to... Go to my scrap box more often than I should and not cut into, especially when you're doing small stuff like this. You don't need, and can I stick this somewhere? Let's go stick this somewhere. Do -do 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 stick it down there. No, it's already got that one on it. A lot of these have already got it on it. Now we'll stick it down here. Don't think, Melinda. Stick it. Stick it, stick it, stick it. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to use up more of what's in my scrap box or this little scrap box that I tend to go to a lot that sits on 
my bookshelf and I always grab it when I want scrappy stuff. Um, trying to yeah use up a lot of little bits and pieces especially for this kind of project. Just seeing if I can use up this little scrap, scrappy bit without throwing it back. I think that's a something I've caught from Amanda Christina to be more mindful of what we're using in our art and use up every last little bit. These are looking really, really cool. I should do this more often, this batch system. Now I've got to find somewhere to put this. Oh, and this little bit. I've got two little bits to find a home for. Ah, this one needs a bit more patterny stuff. So let's just stick this here. Um, yes, trying to use up a lot of bits and make little bits like this. I'm, I love making flowish journal swaps, but I don't have a lot of handmade stuff pre-made. I tend to make stuff for the album. That's why I'm making a lot of these and also practicing my layering that I admit I aren't too good at but doing this I really don't have to think about each layer as such I'm just sticking a bit of pattern paper down then I'll go and sew in a couple of funky bits and then I will do some washi tape and then I'll do a final embellishment so it's it's I don't know it seems to work for me because if I sit there and try to do one, I'll move things around. The other night I had three or four on my desk, and I may do that when I come to stick the embellishments down. And was moving the embellishments from one to the other and trying to put pattern paper under it, but I think this might work a bit better. So that is all of these done. I'll give these a little bit time to dry. I think I've got to hang out some washing, and I will go and do some funky stitching on them just to add another design element change out my camera, download this film, this video to my laptop and then come back after I've sewn these, might not even be today, we'll see, see if I can sit down for another 45 minutes and film some more. So I'm quite happy with how these are coming along. Let me know if you've been crafting with me. Oh, I hope I've been in shot most of that time because I've been working down here. Oh, oops. Oh well. Check that when I'm editing. Bye for now.